Hello, family. How y'all doing? Do me a huge favor and come in and do me another huge favor and share this video at any point you think that what is getting ready to be shared is worth listening to. I always ask you all when you come on that if you hear something or you see someone come in, then ask a question about something that I've already answered. My humble request to you is that you will answer that question for them and or suggest that they go back to the beginning of the video and watch it from the very start. And I'll try my best not to make it long. Hey, Kim. Hey, Mace. Hey, Melissa. Dawn. Hey, live. Jamisha. Rena Aquafina. Flora. Anita. Share the video, y'all. Lynette, Tanisha, I mean Tashina, hey Tashina, aka Pot Lady, Shanti, Sandy, Lavinia, Deja, Leticia, Kendra, Heather, Jennifer, hello, good evening everybody, Trice, I'm giving you all a second to get in, Stephanie, because I know this is a new page by which you all are tuning in to. Tor Tornisha Thorn, come on and keep sharing this so that all of the freedom fighters across the world can become aware of this broadcast. Ev Evangelist Mary Johnson, Shelly, Deborah Scott, Linda, Ashley, Lisa St. Cloud, Christy, Michelle, Sh Shapina, Laurie, Jeanette, and Tisha. Everybody else that came in, you late. <laughs> So the first thing that I want to say is I'm sorry. I know that with the elaborate title that this would be a PSA from the national president, you expected a more elaborate background. I do apologize. We have not arrived there just yet, but I hope y'all like the picture that you can see right behind me. At least I found a picture that I thought would make this look half decent. <laughs> the next thing, next order of business. I want to thank Alicia Restore Spikes for allowing me to utilize her Facebook page while I'm in Facebook jail. Isn't that like us to get creative in times of difficulty and during times of injustice? So I think, just like I thank Sheena and Tori and Natora and everyone else who have lended the access to their page. So I want you all to do me a huge favor. If you have not already started following me on Twitter, it's Live Life Freed. Whenever I don't have the ability to come on to Facebook and or if I want to make a special announcement or respond to something, I'll go on Twitter when I cannot utilize Facebook. Now, the second thing is I will also be using the page of my own biological mother moving forward. That is going to be Otto Weiss Cook. So you will either see the page Alicia Restore Spikes, who is my best friend in the whole, whole wide world. And or my mother, I always cook moving forward until I get access back to my own page. Uh, with that being said, I am glad and I'm pretty sure that President James, Madam President James, is glad that she has her Facebook page back. And when her page comes up, you ought to expect to hear from Madam President James of the Justice family. Unless I get locked out of both Alicia's and my mama's on top of my own. <laughs> so come on in, y'all. Keep on sharing. Hello, Natora, Nita, Nita, Jody, Teddy, Laura. Come on in, y'all. So people can know that this is here. Go to our justice page somebody and share it in our justice page so that people can become aware of the broadcast. All right, y'all, I'm going to get right into it. No more delay. I have over these last few weeks, over the last two months of trying to get this justice family organized and moving, I have been dealing with a lot. And I want you all to bear with me because I'm going to, as I uh, am told I do often, I'm going to do no different right now. I'm going to talk about me just a little bit and hope that it makes sense in the end. 
But during the over, over two months of trying to organize this justice family, it has been beautiful in many, many senses, in many ways, but it has had its share of challenges. I've been the object of consistent ridicule from many different places. We have done great in building, and we've also made some a few missteps in our humanity. Um, we have had a lot of fights. There's been a lot of drama. There's been some ups. There's been some downs. There's been some ins and some outs. But at the end of the day, the one thing that I remain proud of and glad about is that the fact that no matter what has come our way, the Justice family still proves to be stronger than it has ever been. And it continues to grow every single day. It is phenomenal because the power of social media has now finally been fostered to build something in a sense of unity, something that we have not seen before. The Black Lives Matter movement started as well with the hashtag and it spread to a movement that responded to direct responded directly to police police brutality issues across the United States of America. This movement is a little different because this movement, social media has been utilized. Someone's knocking on the door. Yeah. You gonna open it? Who is it? Got a visitor. What do you mean, sir? Okay. The car? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, hold on, sorry. Sorry, we got to pause for a commercial break. Hey. There you go. It's on the table. So this organization and this movement has been building not out of the frustration or the anger of an of a in of the of an injustice that surrounds typical things that people quickly are connected to, but this movement has been yes, I am still in Atlanta, Annette. Now let me and please forgive me if I don't answer your questions just yet. I'm going to, I got to get this statement out to you all. As this movement has been uh, um, building over the social media airways, people have literally abandoned television altogether. Families have had to find new ways to cope with organizing and structuring within the household because wives and husbands and children are glued to their phones trying to figure out what's next with the Justice family. We've been able to go to cities and different places around the country and meet groups that are as big as three to three to 250 and as small as 15. But they've all been very powerful and very unique. We've met people of different backgrounds, people of different economic statuses with different education levels. All of us with one thought in mind to build a family across the world that will truly change the world for the better. And as we have been embarking upon this, there are a few people who do not find it something that they want to celebrate. Some people have, try, have taken a negative tone to this, but they are few. We are large in number. And I can honestly say that having been in the public eye for years, I'd never, ever, ever experienced the level by which we are experiencing now. We have not been able to go anywhere in our travel and people not recognize and or appreciate, at least in our face, the justice family and the freedom fighters of justice. But the issue is they might say that they celebrated us in our face. We don't know what they said behind our back, <laughs> but we've been celebrated everywhere we've gone and there is no mistake about it. We've been celebrated because of you all, because you all have decided to sacrifice, to sow, to become part of the family, to show up at the meet and greets, to plug in and research, to stand up and fight back when one of us is under attack. As we've taken on cases, you've decided to help us keep their names alive through social media. That and so much more. But what I came on here today and I want to talk to you all about is purpose. Because what I have been trying to figure out over the last two months is something that I've not spoke much about. And that is why there has been so much pain associated with the foundation of developing this. 
Why has there been so many individuals that have turned? Why has there been so much warfare? Why has there been so many issues? We're trying everything in our power to get away from the fray and the drama. We're being merciful with individuals we could have chosen to take to court a long time ago. But why, God, why is it that we can't seem to catch a break? Every single day, we are being introduced to another issue that is coming against our desire to bring unity across this world. And I had a situation today that you all are, or pretty much most of y'all should be aware of. That situation proved to me the power of what we're building. And it reminded me of why we cannot let go and we can't stop and we must continue forward. But what I want to say, and, and, and before I go into specifics, is that forever, for the rest of our lives, as far as justice is concerned, Kanika Jenkins will always be a hero of this family's formation. We cannot negate that that case and that tragedy was a case and a tragedy that caused us to see each other. And some, it caused us to see the people who are often hidden and put under the rock, people that are put in the dark space, those who may not have a whole lot of money or, whole, or, or the best education. Or the best name, those who are in the trenches. It put a spotlight on individuals. And it allowed for us to become known in places we probably never would have. And so for that reason, we will forever, forever, ever, 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 ever thank God for the life and the legacy of that young queen. But there's been an issue that I've been trying to figure out. And what I want to speak to you all about purpose is, is that when you are in your purpose, when you are doing what you believe that you're called to do, you're moving forward with your life. You got to pause and you got to ask yourself, hey, pause. I got to pause in this Facebook live feed and say, there go my sister. Tina B is my biological sister. That is one beautiful black queen right there. And I'm so glad to be her younger brother. That's my real blood biological sister. I'm glad that she's on this Facebook, but I promise you she's not on this Facebook because of, cause she thought I was on here. This, she like Alicia. She on Alicia Facebook page. <laughs> Tell you, B, I love you. Um, but listen to what I'm saying, y'all. There has been something about this movement that has been bothering me that I have not spoke about. I've really, really, really been feeling down. I've been irritated. I've been feeling tired of the attacks. I've been feeling tired of the accusations. I've been tired of the criticism. Now, I've been in advocacy for quite a while, as I stayed often. But never have I experienced this level of attack such and such a consistent level. It is always when I'm moving. But for some reason, and, and, and the, but the difference is we've not stopped moving. We keep building. The attacks keep on coming. It is expected. And I told you all the two reasons why it's expected. But when you are in a place of purpose and you find yourself responding to negativity all the time, you find yourself having to explain yourself all the time. You find yourself always being attacked and the attacks are reaching you and they're affecting you and they're hurting you in your journey of purpose. Then what that says is that you have to pause because something is wrong. When you are in your purpose and you're doing everything to the best of your ability and you feel like you are being hurt more than you're being helped, even though you see the celebrations, even though you hear the people calling your name, even though the people are showing up, even though people are wanting to sow, it still feel like, well, wait, some, for some reason I'm losing. For some reason, this doesn't feel good. For some reason, I'm not able to smile. For some reason, when I go to bed at night, I'm heavier than when I, when I woke up th this morning. That is because you have to pause and you got to, you have, that is because you have to pause for station identification and you got to ask God, what is going on? What am I missing? And so I want to tell y'all today why the attacks have been so many. And I want to tell you all why we have seen so much drama. I want to tell you all why I believe we have felt so much heaviness. I want to tell you why I believe that things have been getting to us that should not be able to get anywhere near us. The reason is, is because we are still coming into why we are formed. And so with that being said, 
I know for a fact that Kanika Jenkins tragedy is what brought us together as far as the attention. But that is not what bonded us together as a family. And today in a meeting that I had with some individuals here in Atlanta, Georgia, it made it real clear to me. And I'm speaking from myself for myself as a leader, one of the leaders in the justice family. And what I come today to talk to you all is about purpose. Our purpose and why we stood together was not for tragedy. It was not because we wanted to be the people who always wanted to have to show up for bad news. And it became really difficult because we were being measured up with bad news. So many people wanted us to respond to their cases and we couldn't respond because we're in our building uh, season and our building moment. Our capacity is being built. So many people are frustrated and upset. Because we have not been able to respond to their call and even answering to all these calls, seeing all of these messages have somewhat weighed on our hearts because we are a kind of people who would want to help everybody, but we just can't do it. So what I'm saying to you all is that I had to pause and say, but God, if this is what you gave us, if this is our purpose, something is wrong because there is a disconnect between the fact that what the Bible says, and I'm just speaking as a man of God, it says that you make rich and add no sorrow. It says that when you do a thing, you do it in a place that brings wholeness, holistic living, not pain, not drama, not, not despair. You don't tear down. When you set it, you build it up. And I'm trying to give this as an example for people who are looking at purpose. You are going and giving it everything that you got, but something is not working. Something isn't right. And what I'm telling you is you have to pause and you got to question the purpose. And so for me, I heard somebody perfectly articulate something that I've been trying to figure out what I've been, what I've been trying to figure it out because it's been in my head and they said what they were purpose to do. And then they turned around and said in this statement, in this meeting that we just had, I don't want you to send me all of your tragedies. I don't want you to send me all of your pain. I don't want you to send me all of your problems. I want you to be able to, and I'm paraphrasing their word, to identify what I've been called to do. And I want you to call on me for that. And so when we think about, or when I think about what justice formed for, we formed out of the tragedy under one understanding that we would be a family that would stand against injustices in unity across the board. The purpose, as far as I understand, of this movement was not for tragedy. Does it mean that we cannot address tragedy? Does it mean that we will not address tragedy? Does it mean that we abandon the cases? No, I came on today in hopes that I spoke to you all, the people who are in purpose, but experiencing warfare in the middle of it. And I had a moment in that meeting where literally I felt the power of God and I felt like God was speaking to me to remind me of what my individual purpose is. My purpose has never been tragedy. My purpose has always been empowerment. My purpose has always been unity. It has always been to build up individuals. Justice is not formed so that we as the leadership could become pushed up. But justice is formed so that the everyday individual be able to tap into a larger network of individuals who will stand by them as they begin to step up into their own leadership and their own purpose and take charge about what and what's going on around them. And in that If we have to deal with tragedy, we get to deal or we were able to deal with tragedy because some of us are going to be in that space as we're walking out purpose. So I've been trying to figure out why are people measuring us up by tragedy? And it seems like we can't get an answer by which they understand. It is because that is not the question for us to answer. We are supposed to be building family, building leadership, building capacity, empowering people across the world to begin to be the change. And that is why my statement is always to people, let's change the world, not let's find more tragedy. It's not 
we build a fund so that we can deal with murder. It's that we build a fund so that we stop the spirit of murder that's ruling the airways of the world that we're living in. The fact that people's hearts have waxed cold. The fact that people don't believe that they can change. What made people get involved with our family? It was not just the tragedy itself. People got involved with our family because for the first time in their lives, they felt like they wanted to do something and actually they could. And they looked at our lives. They looked at what we were doing and they said, if they're doing it and if they can do it, we can do it too. That is what brought justice together. So what needs to be the measuring tool of our family is how many leaders we create. It's how many people we empower, how many lives we change. Because as long as we think Outside of the fullness of our purpose, we'll never be able to answer the question of how many cases you saw. Ask the police that. How many people or how many cases do we make people aware of is something that we're able to do in our purpose of building a network across the world. How many and then you say in the sense of the time frame, I'm, I hope that I'm making sense to y'all and what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that if you living in your purpose and you giving it all you got and what people are trying to uh, test you on or what people are trying to uh, measure you by, if you're not able to step up and answer that question in the fullness of freedom within your holistic self, then you have to pause and you got to say, well, what is my purpose? There are people who speak to us and say, I came by way of the case, but you have inspired me. You have given me a reason to believe. You have given me hope. You have made me want to get involved. You have made me see that I can do this too. That is what I think the purpose of this family is moving forward. I think that when we do that, they can't attack us that much. They can't, they, they, the, the negativity will come. But when they say, what have you done? And we can say, we have developed leaders across the world and we have provided them with the resources by which they can lead. That is what you're able. That is why when a family, a mission, state, uh, organization, a foundation or a program or anything is formed, there is something called a vision statement. And you have to write the vision and make it plain because it is the vision by which you are then made measured and you are scrutinized. And so I came on here today as an individual in hopes of speaking to you all that are living out your purpose. And for, and for that moment, while I was sitting in that seat and I felt like God spoke to me and he made it clear, that was the moment that I began to feel all the weights come off my back. That was the moment that I felt like you don't have to respond to negativity. Keep on moving forward because you know what your mission is, because what they're speaking of, that's not your mission. Your mission is not tragedy. Your mission is to love people out of complacency, to expose the things that stunt people grow and to empower people to be the change that they want to see around them. That is what I am about as an individual. And so with that being said, I'm looking at all of you all deal with an individual who is very negative. He has found his way on another live. But guess what? He don't have the kind of power that we're giving him right now. Stop responding to him. We, he doesn't matter. He is insignificant. Too many people have said his name. Too many people have looked in his direction. Clearly, he doesn't agree with what we're doing and what our family is doing. But our purpose is to build up, not tear down. When we come, when we say stand up and fight back, the way we stand up and fight back is that we don't let nobody come at us sideways, but that we also full fledged force ahead build so that his voice gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller as our family grows bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm not worried about what that gentleman is saying because that gentleman. He, he only, he's only in one space. When that gentleman leaves out of his home, how many people are going to be able to speak well of him and how much he's inspired them? How much he has changed their life for the better? What kind of cases have he solved? When you are in your purpose now. Tashina, am I making sense? <laughs> the reason why I was fighting these people back it's because I knew the direction, but I didn't understand what we were doing. I didn't understand what we had. The reason why they were getting to me 
is because I didn't understand how to be measured up by something that I never should have been measured up by. I didn't understand even in how articulate and able I am. I didn't understand the fullness. But today, I could say I've apprehended another level of understanding. And in all thy getting, get an understanding. And all thy getting, get an understanding. Do you know why? Because it's when you have the understanding. That's when you're able to operate in the wisdom of having it. And there's so many people in this world who are miserable like that individual you're chasing because he doesn't know his purpose. He don't know his own individual purpose because I'm going to tell you about people who are full of purpose. People who are full of purpose don't got time to be busybodies in everybody else's business. The reason why he over here doing this is because the only thing that gives him purpose or life is to try to get inside somebody else's. And at the end of the day, he's making us more relevant than irrelevant. Do you hear what I say? You don't need to respond to the negativity. And so I hope that that has helped you all as freedom fighters. I hope that you all have heard my heart tonight. Um, and I hope that we continue to grow and get better. We are new. We can make mistakes. We're not going to get it right all the time. Rena, I think, fell out her bed. <laughs> what? Okay, she didn't fall out the bed. Yo, you, you, you had a real bump, a loud bump. What you just do? I know. So with that being said, I want to answer five questions. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Ask the questions. Y'all still giving him something he don't deserve. He don't deserve your attention. Come on, y'all. Y'all, y'all not even listening. Did I go to the hospital? No. I'm going. Hmm? I want Sheena to see it. She What's that? Lemonade. Good and I'm gonna go. Did you go to the hospital to get that gas looked at? No, I'm gonna go to the hospital. Next question. Come on. Did you and Sheena get my text for the Atlanta organizers? Shivana, I am not sure. I will look at them. I'll look at the text messages when I get off. Why you called Teresa? With the hotel on the line. I think I explained all of that when I did the live about it. I felt that she should be able to speak up for herself and that I shouldn't be having the conversation about what they want without them being on the phone line. Who was targeting the freedom fighting family now? It doesn't matter. They are irrelevant. Freedom fighters should know to get involved in the political process. Hold on. We are still organizing. Where is the next Freedom Fighter chapter meeting? Not defined at this moment. Jed, why, why, do you why do you travel alone? I travel alone because I told y'all one of the people who I love is Tupac. I'm an outcast. I'm a loner. Sometimes I just like to be by myself. I'm around people all the time. I think I deserve a moment by myself. When is the next Chicago chapter meeting? That will be announced real soon. So how will you refresh your soul? What are you doing for that? Um, how would I refresh my soul? I don't know if you, this is what I'm doing. I'm refreshing my soul. I'm refocusing myself and I'm pacing myself according to purpose. Now that I have a greater understanding of it. And this is me speaking. I'm pretty sure there'll be some things that Madam uh, President James will, will share. And we put the two together and we make make it sound with all of the people who make up this freedom fighting family. And so with that being said, I also look forward to the other leaders that will be identified and 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 celebrated within our movement and in our family. What are the plans for Texas this week? We'll be there from the first to the third. That stuff will be posted up uh, soon. 
When are y'all going to Louisiana? I don't know. <laughs> are you guys going to go back out there for Samaje or Jackson? Yes, we will be out there for Jackson on the first. For Samaje, we'll be back. Uh, yeah, we're working on that. We're still working on Samaje behind the scenes, and we will be going back soon. I sent you a message about Detroit meeting, the location. Okay. We got to talk to you about that. I didn't hear. Okay. Y'all got a lot going on now. I'm done with questions. That's way more than five. I just want to answer some of them. I'm going to let two people, no, three people. And I'm done talking to y'all for the day. Hi. How you doing? Murmur? Good. <laughs> Is that say it right? Hi. Hi, Murmur. You, yo, you supposed to be on Facebook Live this late. <laughs> she got off. <laughs> she cut it off. <laughs> Murmur, go to bed. That's <laughs> cool, <laughs> I love young people. I love our young free fries, and that's proof, y'all. Come on now, y'all. That's the reason why we can't get these idiots no attention. Oh, what's up? What's up? Oh, Ethan, man, you need. We gotta talk, man. Man, listen, bro. I had got a phone call yesterday from a private number. Call me, talking mess to. Me. I got a message that later that afternoon. I deleted the message. I didn't pay it no attention. I went on live and explained it. I got another message at 1245, and I shared that one. And the moment I shared that one, there is conspiracies going around talking about I sent the message to myself. I didn't even know you could do that. I don't really care what people believe. I I never said it was you that sent it. I never said it was Sheena. But I did say because he announced himself as a freedom fighter. That makes me mad at everybody. So the per, uh, the anonymous caller referred themselves as a freedom fighter? He said he was a freedom fighter, and I wasn't welcome at no more protests. He didn't believe in interracial couples and all that, man. Like, and then I deleted the message. Then I got another one at 1245. Well, this is what I'm going to say, uh, I Ethan. I don't, I don't have a full handle on the situation. But I think, man, you should talk offline. But I don't think I've ever displayed any type of bias against you for the uh, nationality you have, nor who you date. I don't care about who you date and what race they are. I don't think I've ever had a bad interaction with you. So it did take me back to hear what I heard today. No, you but can't. We, we, and you have it. We should talk. You have it. You, uh, yeah. We should sure. talk offline. I right, go but, ahead. Okay, can I make this clear before I jump off? Everyone out there that's watching, I want to make this clear. I, I have never had a problem with Jedediah, nor Sheena, or none of them. Now, I was hurt that whoever this was approached himself as a freedom fighter. That made me mad. I'm, I'm a person, when I get mad, I get mad at everybody. Oh, that's not good. And that's how I took it. Yeah. <laughs> We'll talk offline, Ethan. I'm glad to see you good and good health. And I, like I said, I don't even know all that happened. All I know is that me and you, from what I understand, we should talk. So I'm going to give you a call. If not tonight, when I get off, first thing in the morning, I promise. And if I don't, then you can blast okay. me for that. Right, but blast me on what I do. Please don't blast me for what other people do. It's a lot of people saying that Freedom Fighters doing a whole lot of stuff. If it ain't come from us, bro. Don't get mad at us, please. Okay, can I make a public apology 
to the freedom fighters and to you and for to Sheena, whoever I offended, I want to make a public announcement and apology and say I'm sorry for being mad and taking it out on everybody. I, I truly am All sorry. good, man. You still a freedom fighter? <laughs> if you're a freedom man, but if you're a fighter, Ethan, come on, let's get this right and let's change the world, brother. Was it three people? Did I do three people already? Okay, I'm waiting on this other person to come on. I'm just talking to you all at this point. I just came give up now. I, I, I did the best I could. I come too far from where I started from. Good afternoon, brother. How Nobody you? told me <laughs> the road would be easy, and I don't believe he's brought me this far. To leave me. Hey. Go ahead. What's your question? What's up? My question is, you know they're supposed to be doing something downtown Chicago for the um, CHA housing? I don't know if no. you heard about it. So I was just curious if you had, well, since you ain't heard about it, I know you ain't had plans on coming. But it's supposed to be like Thursday. And they're supposed to be going down and kind of like trying to set up to provide funding more for Afro-Americans in Chicago for the house. So I thought it was pretty cool, and I want the Freedom Fighters to be aware of it. Maybe it's something we might want to look into in the future. With all the homelessness going on in Chicago, and them sitting on $500 million to a billion dollars of unutilized resources, I mm -hmm. hope y'all give CHA hell. <laughs> You know I'm going to fight for us. And I said, well, you know what? I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it on uh, as the Freedom Friday. So I said, let me just ask him if he had any intentions on going. I never get through, so you know I wasn't ready when I got through tonight. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, when is it, on Thursday? Yeah. yeah, I believe it's on Thursday. I think that on um, Australia's board page, I think, live. I didn't get a whole lot of detail. I sat down for a minute because it caught my attention because they pretty much, like I said, they're talking about CHA housing and trying to get some of that funding and standing up together. They're trying to get 25,000 people to go. So. All right. Well, I'll make sure I look into it and share it, okay? Make sure you do. I'm glad you put me on tonight. I love talking to you. I love everything you guys doing. Stay focused. Don't get distracted. You got this. It ain't one person word. It's all our word together. I love, and I know sometimes you be tripping. I can tell, but I love you too. <laughs> you already know it. <laughs> Talk to you later. Too. All right, y'all. I'm going to. I think, okay, this is what I'm going to say. I want to thank you, sir, because you have been agitating my family on here for a while. So this is how famous I'm going to make you. I'm going to ask all of the freedom fighters across the board if you would do me a favor and make sure you block Clinton Woodell. That'll be C-L-I-N-T-O-N-W-O-O-D-A-L-L. -L -L. -L. Clinton, I'm not sure how big your platform is, but I'm going to tell you this. You lost ours. I'm blocking you because we asked for us to do this in unity. And if we don't get it, shut, shut it, it down. down. You're blocked. <laughs> Clinton is blocked, y'all. There will be no more of his foolishness, at least on this page. All right, there we go. There you go. When one of us on Facebook is under attack, what do we do? Stand up like that. Block. <laughs> Block. <laughs> Block. He was ready, sister. Oh, stay ready. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to mess up this PSA. 
finna get crazy. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Never said there wouldn't be trials. Never said I wouldn't fall. Never said that everything go. Which way? The way I wanted to go. Hey. Oh, tone down. But victory hey, or defeat, it's up to me to decide. Tell hey, me Jenny. how can I expect to Sing win? It, Come on. Yeah, you try. Hey. You ain't win, though. Thank you, Joe. Is that Rena? Is that Rena? How hey, are you? Hey, Jenny. Alani, I Alani. love you. Oh, my God. Alani, I love that name. What that means? Yeah. I love that name. What that means? It means beautiful. Flowers. Beautiful flat Hawaiian. Beautiful what? Beautiful flower. Beautiful flower. Awesome. Alani. I do love that. Your name, that name is raw. Raw. Epic. So what's on y'all, man? Yeah. Well, we wasn't trying to get in since the beginning of Kanika case. But what I wanted to tell you was, is that I stand with you guys, you know, for whatever y'all stand for. I'm down. But I can't be a freedom fighter because, you know, I'm still trying to help this one get out of school. This is her last year. Um, so I have focus on, you know, that thing. So I can't do a lot right now, but I really adore y'all. And I'd be so worried about you and Lamont and the rest of y'all, but y'all two be going through it, honey. Y'all be going through it. And my life be just gone. We, you know, we, you know, I, I tell people all the time because they think it's strange. We are very active people. We go and we get involved and we do what we got to do and what we believe in. And sometimes. You know, we're not, I'm not afraid. You can't be, you know, fear and faith don't occupy the same space. A lot of stuff go on, do go on because we worry. Right. I don't want to be the man sitting in, I don't want to well, be the man sitting in the palace pushing the pen. I love to be the man in the in the field fighting for the sheep. All right, go ahead. Um, Well, y'all was just in North Carolina. I'm in Pleasant Garden, North Carolina. I wanted to come down there, but I couldn't because I don't drive. I, like, got a problem. You know, I got sarcoidosis and I can't see out my left eye, so I can't drive. Oh. So I couldn't really get down there. And it's a lot of things going on with me myself. So I um, I wanted to be a part so much. But, you know, my health, my daughter, a lot of things in play for me is not right now. Good. So but I'm with y'all. I know y'all see me on there giving y'all a bunch of love. You know what I'm saying? I give y'all a bunch of love. Every time you get on, I get on. Every time I see Sheena, I get on. Every time I see Natora, I get on. Every time I see Lamont, I get on. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is about that is it's not about it's not, that is if that's your one hundred percent, it we appreciate it and it's making it's adding to us, not taking away from us. So I love you so much for all your love and y'all support. Your daughter looked up. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. I love you too, Jay. I love you too. Now that now that was powerful. Wow. The first words that I ever heard you speak. <laughs> the first words I heard you speak was I love you, Jenny. I thank you so much. It's <laughs> crazy. Yes, she loves you. We all love you. I love you. She loves you. We all love all of y'all. So if y'all see me in here giving y'all love, don't ignore I me ignore now. Y'all have, have a good yeah. one. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm I'm with y'all. Okay. Hey, y'all, do me a favor. Do me a favor real quick. I need everybody to do this because this right here is epic. I don't know what his name is, but he is the husband of Nicole Sheridan Williams. Y'all hear me? That's her husband. This is what this wife just wrote about her man. She put on here, hubby is watching with me tonight. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Family watching. Husband. Now, don't y'all be watching too long now because I'm going to tell you something. That got to be a little hot that y'all watching just so the family be built together. So don't watch too long, but everybody give a shout out to Nicole Sheridan Williams' husband. Thank you, brother, for watching and supporting. He probably ain't even really watching. <laughs> Is he really watching? Zoe Banks, block, very rude. Okay, Zoe Banks, one of our people said you're being very rude. Here go your warning. Obviously, you're not being dis you're not disagreeing. You're being rude. So let's see. Can I find you? If you say one more thing, 
how you get one eye and you own. <gasps> Whoa. Zo. Zo. How you get one eye and you own live. This is what I'm going to say to you. I'm going to say to you, please don't disrespect anybody on this live like that again. Please don't. You don't have a, you don't know where, you know, here it is. Here, this is what I'm going to say. Don't you mean that we celebrate her even more or whoever for with whatever they got going on? Pressing to be a part of this family? So, that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. Not at all. You said, how you got one eye and you on live? Who got one eye? That wasn't cool. That actually just really oh, bothered me. The guess? Yeah, that bothered me. I did not like that at all. It's the, it's the world we... It's the world we live in. That's, that's how people are. I don't know. I guess that was trying to be funny. You failed. Epic. Herschel, what's up? Oh, what's up, brother? What's up, bro? What's crazy? Man, feeling? wait a minute. I think I need to. Man, Joy, they went off yet. What's going on? I'm feeling, man, I'm feeling man, like I, I feel, I feel real good. Man, I, you better feel good, man. I was, cons hey, I'm a grown man. I was completely worried about your well-being, bro. I was finna drive ten hours, but your people wouldn't pick up the phone. Man, that's mad love, bro. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm born, I'm bred in Chicago too. I got one, I got one, uh, one I, I got one injury. But I'm gonna tell you something, brother. They, they, they not, they in jail because they couldn't get away from this hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hurricane season, my man. Hey, I'm glad you, <laughs> let me say this first. I'm glad that you are right. Let's say that first, okay? That's, That's the serious. first thing. I'm glad you are right. Next thing is, hey, man, you got you got soldiers, man. You don't even know how many soldiers you got. We wasn't there with you. But you got to make it back to the city, man, so we can talk. Because you need security now, man. It's not that you need it. That's that Chicago angel. I heard you over there happy. Yeah, I had to take him down. I had to do it this way. I was happy for you, man. I'm like, what was the next round? Did this man, how many rounds did you go, man? You made it home, man. You made it back safely, man. But you can't be doing that, bro. You the president, man. That's my Wonder. job, man. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> That's my job, that, man. You got soldiers for that, man. When you get back, man, hey. <laughs> Hey, to all your people out there, Jedediah is one of the coolest dudes I've met thus far. The situation Jedediah, that you was in, though, we'll talk, man. I was really concerned. It was a lot of people that was really concerned, bro. But um, your security, man, hey, hey, whatever you was doing, man, when you get back to the city, bro, I'm your brother. I don't care what you're talking about, man. I'm your brother. You hear me? <laughs> so you I hear should, me? I, 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 <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. And we're trying to get when the we, Chicago chapter up. And hey, running. when you get back to Chicago, hey, when you get back to Chicago, man, um, we going to Morrison's. We're going to get some soul food, man, and then we're gonna sit down. <laughs> that deal done. I was really done. Huh? I'm with that. Yeah, I pay for it. Don't worry about it. I do that delivery stuff, so it's already gonna be taken care of. The bill taken care of. Okay. Uh, all the wow, wow. All, all right, bro. Well, I hit you up when I'm on my way back. Okay, man. Be safe yeah. with y'all journey a tip. Tell the rest of them be safe, man. I appreciate what y'all doing, man. You had another tr um, good trip, man. And um, I'm just looking at Eric. Man, you got a lot of love, bro. Man, we, can somebody we, just Justin, love me for one second? Just we for got, one second. Justice, guys. We do love you, bro. Clearly, you ain't looking oh, at these oh, people oh, talking about you right here. Justice family. Justice <laughs> family. Hell to the people. <laughs> All right, bro. Did I'll talk to you soon. Uh, okay, man. I'll see, see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, All right, bro. All right, y'all. Uh, Guess what, y'all? Lamont is here. He didn't got here from. He didn't, he's off his plane. So with that being said, I've enjoyed. No, one more person. One more person, and then we're done. Chrissy. Wait, who? Cool. Chrissy. Do you know that person? Yeah, Joliet. The coupon. Oh yeah, the uh, coupon. Sad daughter was worried. 
Is that my socks? Yeah, that's my socks. It's been a long day. Hello. Hey, Chris. Hey. Oh, what's up, beautiful hey, Christy? Hey, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> so this one right here been worried about you all day. It's been a long day. What's up? <laughs> Y'all, that's my, I guess that's, well, I can't, don't, I can't say nothing right now. We can't tell no. anybody nothing yeah. right now. We can't tell yeah. anybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We know. <laughs> How y'all doing today? <laughs> Listen, she been worried about you all day, so I just had to get on because she couldn't go to bed until she said, is he okay? <laughs> that means the world to me. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I can't wait to get back home, though. Spend some time with y'all. Y'all like y'all 30 minutes away. I know, right? We've been out doing that. <laughs> <laughs> is, you ready to is you ready to teach these people how to coupon? Listen, somebody made a page on your on the justice page for coupon and they kind of took it over. Um everybody coupons different, so um but I got a lot I mean, I do it almost every day. I do it almost you every do day. It, I mean, like, they with, just told me at them prices. They told I me bet I had to get out their room. I put a shelf in their room. They told me I had to get out their room. <laughs> they said it was too much. Now hold on. Pause, 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 pause. Hold on. <laughs> I got to pause for a second. So Zoe Banks writes, my feelings are hurt. Everyone wants me blocked. And all I want to do is be a part of something positive for a change. Well, then say positive things. You got to be positive if you want to get what well, get right. positive. If you, it say you got to show yourself friendly if you want friends. You can't say you want to be around right. something positive and then you coming at people that's... that's hey, Tina. But that that wasn't cool. But we gonna we gonna hope we gonna hope that that was a misstep. I didn't block you because I think that this was an opportunity for you to learn at least about as far as this page is concerned. So, but let's get it let's get it together and not do that again. Now back to coupon. What we about today? <laughs> <laughs> what we about, what we about today? What we about today? Oh well, let's see. We bought a whole bunch of yeah, all. Um. Uh, I don't know how to flip the camera. You know how to flip the camera? No. Oh, okay. Hold on. Look, my daughter telling me to flip the camera. And that y'all be zoning. Bought, um, that, that's what I bought today. Some of that is what I bought today. Um, this is crazy. You finna, you finna, it's finna be crazy. So I bought all of this today. <laughs> yeah. This couponing thing is so crazy to me. Yeah, and I got like that. that. I'm I'm not going to the store no more. I'm just coming to your house. Chrissy, you still got. I mean, I already told you. <laughs> <laughs> I already told you. Yeah, let me. And I bought all the Febreze today. I bought. Chris, they, they don't even know how tight we finna be. They tell me, I bet you they gonna be like, why he always got some tissue and, and detergent? He ain't got no job. <laughs> oh, right. I can't wait for that meme. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. I love y'all, Chris. Hey, hey. I will see. Oh, my God. I can't deal. Oh, my God. You even be bad. You got, you got more than one plunger. Yep. <laughs> Bye, Chris. Bye. Get off my lap. Get off my lap. Good night. Good night. I can't wait. I can't deal with it. It's something, y'all. This woman is a couponing guru. Do me a favor right now. Go to Christy Page. She is Jedediah approved, endorsed, and certified. Go on Christy Page so that this woman can teach y'all how to get all that. And I ain't even going to tell you how much it costs. She be blowing my mind when she be showing me her cool her receipts go to Christie's page where you at Zoe I'm finna bring you on on live I want to see your face before I go off get off of here oh no Zoe I'm not bringing you on here because what I just read uh 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 Okay, 
One more person, and I promise I'm going off for real this time. If you have not watched this video from the beginning, go back. Tell me that you want to come on so I can get this one more person. But I need y'all to please go back to the beginning of this video and watch it so you can hear what I said today about purpose. Please. She told me, they talking about, now you got everybody talking about coupon. Look, they want that stuff. They forgot all about, uh, they forgot all about that uh, negativity when they saw all that stuff in your house, Christy. <laughs> Christy, you didn't change the atmosphere of the conversation. <laughs> what's Christy's name? Look, what's Christy's name? <laughs> Don't even want to talk to me no more. They is all like, oh, Christy, what's your name, girl? How you <laughs> what a page. Christy, I bet if you go live right now, everybody finna go to your page. My numbers gonna drop all the way to one. <laughs> they still talking about coupon. So don't nobody gonna come on live no more. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get off for the night then. Wait. So the mom came in there at night for a night. I don't know what he, I think so. Lamont is his own individual person. We have learned to keep Lamont covered and support him in every endeavor. But you cannot box Lamont in. It's not going to work. They is not playing. Y'all still talking about this coupon. And look at y'all. Uh, Contessa, they are on their way to get Lamont right now. They left out. I'm in here by myself now. So I'm going to ask one more time. Thank you so much, Zoe, for apologizing for the bad joke. I appreciate you for that. And I honor you for doing that. Where is the request at, PJ? I don't see no request. Who's saying it? It shows a cable about coupon, and I'll stay here. That way I can talk to you. Is that? Wait, 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 wait. I think, why is this name familiar? Don't let him go to jail. Freedom fight labor here. Come on, who wants to come in? Say, I want to come on. Can I get one more person? I want to talk to y'all. Wait. Okay, I am Jed. I'm at Jed. I'm asking a question. Pearl Smith, what's your question? Why did you smell your socks? Because something rose up, and I'm not, I don't be playing that kind of stuff. I will cut my feet off before I let my feet stink. I will cut my feet off. Not gonna happen. And I smell something. I want to make sure see if it was me or Rena or Tashina. And this time, it was me. <laughs> So when I get off this lab, before I do anything else, I'm going to wash my feet. That's all this, this traveling around here trying to find my phone and stuff, which y'all know I did find my phone. Time for you to go to the doctor. Yeah, I'm going to do that when I get off. Wait, okay. That's why I know that name. That is exactly why I know that name. I'm glad I didn't get off earlier. Come on, let's talk. I kept hearing your name. Yeah, but mm -mm. Let me, see, y'all don't even, let me tell y'all some stuff about me while I'm waiting on this person to come on. I don't use towels twice. You know, like washcloths. If I wash up with a washcloth, I throw it in the garbage. I don't believe in washing towels. I think that it's still bacteria or some dirt from the last wash going to be on it. I'm a very weird, finicky person a weird finicky person. I'm trying to let you in. I don't know if you can see the invite, but every, oh, it went away. 
What's her name? And the tour, you better stop threatening me. PJ, tell the tour to stop threatening me. I ain't playing with her. Yeah, but. <laughs> It's both of us. No, I did not know it was her. I know who it was. What you threat? What you, you? You got something to say? You want to say it publicly, Natal? <laughs> Wait, let me you get these um sunflower seeds out of my mouth so I can let uh, it all out. Uh huh. What's up, PJ? Hey, Jedediah. <laughs> okay. Mhm. Mm so first of all, husband, babe, you gotta get him too, cause I'm not gonna be the only one. You better put our foot down. <laughs> First of all, I've been worried about you since I think four, five a.m. And I have not heard from you. You, you I ain't did seeing you. You know it's link up time. You know what it is. I, you no. Nope. Okay, I, 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 I did. I, I know who I talked to. I know who I talked to. I know who I talked to. Uh -huh. I talked to your yeah. best friend. <laughs> I don't care. That's not me. That's not me. <laughs> Betty, Boots. Ah, Betty Boots. I know, right? Stop, stop I know you me. caught that. Did you? I threw it. Did you, Did you catch? Did you catch? I'm picking you up. I'm going to pick you up from the airport. Okay. You picking me up. We're going to have some time together. I We're know. Go it's, eat. it's overdue. Bring oh, some yeah. of them stuff I will see. You know about three of them. I'll be full. <laughs> <laughs> we need to we need to sit down and talk and I'm gonna feed you because I know you've been losing weight out there. They ain't been feeding you right. I got you. Okay. All Babe, right. we back on what's, we back on our wife duties because he coming home. Yeah, I'm finally <sighs> coming home. We got hey. yeah, I can't wait for this conversation. But what's been going what's the weather like in Chicago? Is it cold? <laughs> yeah. And I got your coat. I got a coat. Yeah. Oh, the one with the <laughs> epile the epilepsy. Yeah. The, I mean, lapel, lapel. Mm -hmm. Okay. I forgot all about I that thing. It. I was gonna come up and I was gonna come up to mine and just put all my job, all my uh, my sweaters on together. I was gonna have like forty <laughs> sweaters on and, and all the pants I got. <laughs> it is Chicago <laughs> after all. You would have looked real thick. <laughs> 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 That's too funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know I'm glad you're safe. Because, woo! Now, you know I know how to fight, though. I held if it. You put it. If you down me, I'll kill you. You understand me? You you sound just like Ike. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded just like <laughs> I ain't say what he said, but you know what he said. But I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> Love y'all. Good night. Okay, Miss Angie, come on so I can get you on here. I give a shout out to North Car uh, uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, lead organizer Michael Brown. I can never see one of our leaders and not recognize them. How you doing, sir? I hope your day is phenomenal. Miss Angie Foster, I'm trying to invite you on to the broadcast. Miss Angie Foster, please. Oh, no. It went away. Oh, I'm going to try to call. I don't know. Can somebody please tell me how to contact Angie Foster? I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Hi. What's up, Liz? Liz from Chicago. Um, I'm a, I, I'm 60 years old. So I'm, back from the, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a 70 baby. 
and you brought the life out of me. Um, I used to listen to Keen and Malcolm X and all that. And I, I really got to know you on Lakeshore Drive. And it was just something I felt that he's the one. Because I knew you wasn't going to do what you said you was going to do. Because I knew God had you. Wow. So you just, you, you're the one. You're the one. And uh, I'm, I'm a background person. And I prayed. I prayed this morning with Samantha. And they didn't understand our prayers. They didn't understand when I was telling God to keep the witches and the warlock from you. You know, and uh, I'm a prayer warrior. So uh, financially, my husband's been sick. I, I, I want to give. I'm a background person. I've been telling my family, and everybody know she listening to the Freedom Fighters. But I want you to know it's your time. God got you. God got you. And we need you in Chicago. We need you in the world. We need you. And it's just like, what did our people, you know, you know, yeah, we had Jesse Jackson. We had all these people, but it's your time. It's your time. And I thank you. I thank you so much for bringing us out in Chicago for the people, the young people, wow. the older people. You know, you guys, I'm 60 years old, but I'm like, we didn't have nothing. You know, the last 20 years, we ain't had nothing. We ain't had, had no protests. We ain't had nobody to just do it the way you do it. So I just want to thank you. I support you. I support your team. I support your organization. I am a freedom fighter. And I want, I, I just love you. You got, man, oh, golly, the amount of, of, of encouragement coming from you is just like, it's, I'd be overwhelmed at times when some of y'all be talking. And I thank you for your prayers. Let's do this together. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus Christ. Do y'all, I don't know. I don't know how y'all be feeling when y'all be listening to this stuff, but I, like, it just be hitting me in my stomach. Like, I be feeling it. You can feel when people are anointed or when people are sincere, when they mean what they say. And I'm that woman right there. That woman right there. She just really blessed me. I'm, I can't believe that my phone ain't that ain't went out yet. I can't believe it. Jesus Christ. She said we haven't had that. Y'all. Lord have mercy. Hello, she spoke to you. You need a whole team of intercessors. I hope y'all heard what I said earlier. The only reason why you would be answering negativity and negativity is reaching you while you're in your purpose is because you need to take a step back and make sure that you're in the right vein of it. Our purpose is not tragedy. Our purpose is empowerment. Empowering. Our purpose is not to be... <laughs> now you said to add you and I tried to add you and it, it didn't do it. Our purpose is not, our purpose is not to become the Lord's. Our purpose is to, our purpose is not to wear a cape. Our purpose is to wear an apron and to serve people back to life. That is the purpose of justice. Josette. Hi. How are you? Please excuse <laughs> I just want to uplift you. I think you and Sheena and Lamont, all of you guys are awesome. I've been following you guys. I don't watch television anymore. It watches me. Um, <laughs> are so inspiring. I, I can't tell you what you guys have done for me. Um, I have a 17-year-old daughter, and I would only want you guys to come to my back and call if something went wrong with my daughter. 
um, I've been trying to reach you also because you're squinting all the time. And I work for a company that supplies great glasses, and I have some glasses for you. <laughs> you got some uh, glasses for me. Also, I, yes, I do. <laughs> I I sent you a request to send me a P.O. box to send them to you. Um, and I also reached out to Sheena. Um, I'm relocating with my job uh, to Atlanta in December, and I really want to get involved and be a part of the family. Uh, I did get my official letter, email it, um, and I'm looking forward to meeting you guys and putting in work with you guys. How you know my prescription? I'll get it. <laughs> I have glasses. I love it. If you send me your prescription, I'll get your glasses made. But trust oh me. My God. I, oh, I, my God. Oh, my God. I have some glasses for you. I do. I'm a, uh, no, I ain't going to act. I, I, I can't. A company. I, I, Jesus I don't want to disclose the company's name, but uh, I work for a company that manufacture eyeglasses. So I got some glasses for you. But I want to be a part of you guys. I want to put in some work. It's I can't my passion. I love working with people. I can't wait to meet you guys as well. And please forgive my look. I'm getting ready for work. You you look but, you, um, wait, you're getting ready for work. I, I, I thought you were gonna get ready for bed. What you got to, <laughs> hold on now. What <laughs> what is that on your head for you talking about you going to work? <laughs> I'm preparing uh, myself. I shampoo my hair, but Oh, uh, you got your hair washed up like don't you be going on don't you go to work wrapped up like that. Take that beautiful hair out of there. No, that. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, but on the real, you guys, I'm originally, I was born and raised in Chicago, South Side. Um, I'm currently living in Memphis, Tennessee, but um, I'm relocating to Atlanta in December with my job. And I look forward to working with you guys. I, I can't tell you. <laughs> what you guys have done for me the last several months since September the 9th, I believe, or the 10th, somewhere around there. I've been going through a lot in my life, and you guys have inspired me to push on and to be a part of a, of a movement that, that I can make. A, I want to make a difference in children's life. I want to make a difference in people's life. Um, Lamont, that, that young brother is awesome. And I believe you are such a good big brother to him because he, he thrives off of you. He, he gets that from you. You are very anointed. You, you, you have it. And quit letting those naysayers get you down because you know how we do it on the South in Chicago. Just don't worry about nothing they say because you have it. You have the it. You look at your viewers. Look at the people that's not freedom fighters. They they have so much greatness to, to talk about when it comes to you. And my mom, everybody talks about me because I follow you guys. But you guys just don't know what you do. Just getting on every day to listen to you guys make me move to the next day. I can't tell you. I can't stress that. Enough. And I can't wait to meet you guys, but inbox me your P.O. box, and I promise you I got that for you. And I ask Love you to reach out to me to make sure that I'm moving in the correct area. I don't, I'm not familiar with Atlanta, but I want to make sure I'm not going somewhere I shouldn't be going. So uh, I screenshotted your name, and I will. Be, we're going to be in touch with you, okay? All right, take we're care. Gonna talk, we're going to talk about the glasses thing. I so much, I'm so grateful and blessed that you offered <laughs> to do that for me. I really, really, really am. And your words that you have given, have been, they have reached me, and I thank you so much. I'm going to sleep real good tonight. Blessed by you. Thank you. Have a good right, one. Me, you too. What in the world is this? How do I get back to this? No. It's not what I'm talking about. Okay, so this just turned out into a whole full-out kicking session, me with y'all. 
I need to find this though, cause I that I saw something that I gotta address. Uh, okay. I love all of you all so much. I love you all so much. So much. I love you. Y'all don't have no idea. I'm just in awe of everybody that came on. I'm glad that I'm actually able to spend real quality time with y'all. What's up, man? What you talking about? I'm looking at your post. I'm concerned. Yeah. I mean, ma'am. By the way, I'm sorry. Girl. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just very suspicious because I've been sitting here waiting, trying to be patient, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, when he ever gonna talk?" You know, because this is very, very important. I just found out something the other day. Um, there were two girls that was on her name, um, China, and she, the one that actually has said that she was there the day that the incident had happened between Kanika. Wait, say it again. She said that she was there and her other friend was there at the party the day that it happened. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. We're definitely not going to talk about this on here. I am going to. I know. I'm going to. Wait, hold on. Screenshotting your name. Add me up. Anything. So. So, yeah. Huh? You can add me on Facebook. You can add me on Twitter. You can add me on anything. So, okay. We had this conversation. I just screenshotted your name and I'm going to be in touch with you, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Charlie, they should be here in a minute. Lamont and them going to put, going to come through the door. That's a good thing I would love to know. Where y'all from on here, y'all? I want to join your life. All right, I'm going to cut this person off, and I'm going to let you come on. Hey. Hey, Nika. How you doing? I'm good. What's on your mind? Did you, what you do end up doing with the poster? The poster that was made. You make that was you. Yes, I brought it to the jail to you. Thank you so much for the poster. I didn't get to meet you when you brought it to the jail. They brought it to me. I, they ended up giving it to me. First, the poster is still. First off, I'll say this. Unfortunately, we are not going to be remaining on the case. Are, are you there? Let's bring you back. I want to tell you all this about the case. Anika, Anika, put your name back up here so I can talk to you and you can we can look at each other. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do moving forward. Okay, let's try one more time. Nika. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. So I am. So I just want to say we are. Um, are we? We brought it to the members of the family to ask them if we should use any more resources, time, energy, and effort of our family for the for the for the for the case. And people, the people voted no. So okay. we are not going to be moving forward with the Kanika uh -huh. Jenkins case. However, huh? Hello. Anika, Anika, why your face keep freezing the same exact way? That's the same way your face froze the first time. What in the world is going on with your phone? That is just crazy. Her face froze the exact same way 
in the exact same position. Anika, if I bring you on here and you freeze like that again, I'm I'm not to block you. <laughs> that creeped me out. <laughs> Girl, you get you a, a, another a nigga get another position now. The nigga, don't you freeze? Hey, you better not freeze the same way you just did. I promise you, I'm a block. Okay, you let me get, let me try to move. Yeah, get you another <laughs> position. So, <laughs> so. Lord have mercy. So we're not going to move forward with the case. However, I am going to Anika. I'm not. <laughs> I think I'm not bringing you on here no more. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make light of this situation. It's not, but <laughs> I can't take this. Anyway, we're not gonna move forward with the case. Um <laughs> we're not gonna move forward with the case, but I'm going to keep my word. Um as far as November 8th is concerned, the town hall. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a, <laughs> I don't know how that, the way she was stuck on that phone is frozen in my, in my head. I cannot get that out of my head, the way she was frozen on that phone. I didn't say we wasn't joking, so I said how we joke matter. So anyway, uh, uh, Anika, I love you, okay? I love you. But again, get, get get this. We're not going to uh, continue on with the case, but we are going to go back on November eighth. I am going to face the mayor. Um, I, I am going to face the mayor um, of Rosemont in that village town hall, and I want to speak about the treatment of the American citizens in their city doing those. Um, peaceful protests and gatherings and I do plan on <laughs> taking your poster there after we use that poster there I'm going to keep that poster um, personally because I appreciate you buying it okay Anika I'm not bringing you on here no more not tonight I can't do it I can't do it who who else want to? Does anybody else want? She still trying. Hold on, I gotta let her. I just got to. I got to. I can't. I can't even. I can't even. I can't even not do it. I can't even not do it. I can't not do it. I got to. How did you pull me back on here? Cause this is too funny <laughs> to me. You better not freeze up again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this phone. Did you hear my response? 
I heard you. You heard what I said, okay? But I got the. Uh, I'm gonna get the other one to Tashina. Anika. Hello, Anika. <laughs> I'm done. I can't deal with it. I can't. My nose start running. Give me a second. I'll be right back. I need a couple of seconds. I need, <laughs> I need a couple of seconds. This thing started off all right. It didn't went all wrong. Okay, anyway. I'm done with a nigga. Anybody else got something that they want to say? <clears throat> We've been on here too long. I'm making up for all the days when the lives cut off on us. You're going to be in that hospital from laughing. I'm going to be in that hospital from this cut. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that was gonna that's the best moment of the day. I really could go to bed on that one. Kanika case, and you are awesome. You are awesome. God is all over you. Thank you so much. He's all over you, all in you. The blood of Jesus, oh Lord God, I see him all in you. Wow, I appreciate it. Wow. And that, that fight you had last night. <laughs> I was anointed in that too. Yes, yes you were. Yes you were, but you wasn't harmed. But I, You really wasn't harmed. I um I thank God for that. And what people don't yeah. know, this is what this is what I this is the part of that that I didn't get to talk about. I actually went up, went out because I was frustrated with some things mm -hmm. that we've been dealing with. I went out. I told them I was gonna go stay at one of my friends' house, and that incident happened. One of the guys I was fighting with actually said that he appreciated the freedom fighter work. And wow. uh, a, one of the paramedics that that serviced me mm -hmm. said something so life changing, and according to the work that we do, and I it just let me know that no matter how frustrated I feel, That's this right. this has purpose. Yes, purpose. Yeah. That's only a thing that everybody should see that you for everybody. You try to stop that fight and you got harmed, but hey, you're all right. God was with you. He still covered you. But I'm just saying, um, you know, after all everything that's been going on and, you know, everything that's been said about you, I trust you. I trust you. I've been listening to your preaching and everything it's it's been on point with my life with my life and i haven't been to church in a while but i went today i went today and the message was for me it was for me you finna mess me up <laughs> you finna mess me up. don't even do it yeah. It inspired me. And you know what? It says some things in the message that you have said. And that's why I got up. 
and I went to church. And that message was for me. You inspire so many people, even me, even me. You made me get up and go to church. And I've been following you for so long. I have my um, freedom fighter. I filled out my application, but I know y'all been so busy that um, nobody has, you know, time to, but I'm in there. I have an application in. Mm. But Thank God is so all much. in you. He's all in you. Keep doing what you're doing. You're inspiring people all over the world. The world. Not one city. The world. I want to so say. It doesn't matter. I want to say. Okay. Those words. I trust you. I don't take I do. that. I don't take your trust lightly at all, your confidence. And I just said, I got to tell people, this is not a one-sided thing. Like, this is two-sided. Y'all y'all are breathing life back into me. Y'all don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but when I'm sitting here talking to y'all, it, it just reminds me, and it, it just makes it all worth it. And I just appreciate you. And, again, I just think about the way that God has processed me and to hear you say, I haven't been church to church in a while, but today you went to church and yes. you got what you needed for you today. I sure did. That from your message last week. That right there is probably one of the best things that I've ever heard. And all I'm asking for you to do for me in return is to help our churches if you go back, if you join, I don't know, whatever you decide to do. But help I'm an innocence of prayer. Help help the church get his life back. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. He needs it. Yes, because they need it. They need it. They lost. I love you. I hope to talk to you soon. I and you. for those of you all that are like um, the beautiful Pamela here, if you've not gotten your letter back for your application with the Freedom Fighters, reach out to Valerie Gale Hash and tell her to get you okay. your letter. Valerie Gale Hash. Because <laughs> we need you on that database, okay? Thank you. Talk to you later. I love you. Love you too. Love you too. <clears throat> hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, I've sat and watched your comments. I do not understand your mission. You are in and out, up and down. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. You can't figure out if you're for or against, if you're with it or you're not, if you want to make jokes or be serious. Now, there is a way to do stuff. We can do it, but there's a way to do stuff. But I want to tell you that because of your presentation, as far as this page is concerned, I'm asking that everybody who will block Zoe Banks. So, Banks, you officially are the weakest link and consider yourself blocked. No more Zo Banks. <clears throat> okay. Mr. Mark Carter, how you doing? Yeah, all right, y'all. I think I've spent enough time with y'all for one night. I'm going to go and... Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Carter, what's up? You don't have... Let me see. Is it not organized in Chicago? I don't, you don't have the... I, I can't put Mark Carter on because it's not giving me that option. I don't know how to do it. Mark Carter is an activist organizer in Chicago. We fight all the time. Is a very, very, very um, aware 
he's very he's astute in the layout of what's going on in, in the city of Chicago. Can't negate it. So I can't bring him on for some reason. It's not letting me. Cause I'm trying. But if you say something, I will uh, read it. Nope, 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 nope. That's not true. It's not true, Vonda Busy B. Hendrix, you can talk to me. Yo, what is Carlos' name on here? What's up? You want to talk to me? I, I saw you. I saw what you wrote. I, I've been trying to get on forever. I'm so glad that I'm on here now. I just wanted to tell you that y'all are doing a good job. And I did receive my letter from the Freedom Fighters to be a Freedom Fighter. And I'm so glad. And I'm from Anderson, Indiana, which is probably like four hours away. And I'm just, I just wanted to just, you know, you're aspiring to everybody in the world. This is really huge. And keep doing what y'all doing. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm glad that you're part of the Freedom Fighting family. Yes, but I have a motto. I've been putting it on there, so I don't know if you've been catching it or not. I said, one beat of the drum became one, and that means all the Freedom Fighters became one family. Say it one more time. My motto for you got for the Freedom Fighters is one beat of the drum became one, and that's for the Freedom Fighters because we all family. I love that. Do me a favor. I, I I want you to type that out to me in my inbox, so we can make okay. it, and we can figure out how to make it flow. I like it, but yeah, I want I want to make the sound of it flow. Okay. Yeah, it needs a little work too, and we can do that. I can do that. We can do that. Yeah. Love you, Queen. Love you too. Thank you. If we don't get it, if we don't get it. I forgot because <laughs> I'm being kind of busy. So I mean, I, I know all your things. You don't even know the saying. <laughs> I do. I know. I, look, I know most of them. I mean, no, right. I had a, I had a busy day. We young, we strong. I for real. I, be, I forgot something. <laughs> I've been I for real. <laughs> I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> I feel so embarrassed. All right, this your last one. Uh 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 uh. This your last one. When one of us is under attack, what do we do? We stand up, fight back. Stand up, fight back. All right, girl, you almost lost your membership. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye. Oh, that That's funny. I got it, y'all. I got it. Going on, night fighter. What's going? Not night fighter. <laughs> Freedom fighter. What up? <laughs> What's Freedom up, fighter. Mark? No, I said night fighter because it's late at night. You know I know, right? Mean? I know. And I, I happen to, I happen to look at my Facebook page and and uh, uh, going through the posters and see y'all communicating. Uh, we just got off Facebook Live, uh, um, you know, uh, addressing some of these issues where we're merging all the issues together. Uh, um, you know, it's very important that we pay attention that we are in a, a um, serious time where we have police shootings. We have, uh, uh, man, we were just talking about 282,000 families uh, are seeking housing. Uh, and that was just as of 2014. So imagine where we are in 2017. We, we went through some information. So we're merging all the issues, the police uh, uh, Terrorism, because what we have to, man, we have to call it way. We have, we have to have to take it on a whole nother level. I mean, just talking about police shootings and police killings, the people have, have gotten numb to that. And so I guess we have to up the ante and go to the next level to talk about this as, uh, you know, call it what it is, and that's police terrorism. On top of that, we've been addressing these issues around Section Three, jobs and contracts. Uh, man, you 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 you're talking about the power to organize right now and send a strong message to this political structure uh, in cities like Chicago. And I say in cities like Chicago because this is going on all over the globe where we're being gentrified and wiped out of these cities, uh, uh, replaced by uh, all these, uh, the, these other groups. They want us to be focused on 
what they have considered as the liberal agenda, but the liberal agenda don't include the black agenda, don't include black people. And so if we begin to organize around a black agenda, like everybody else who have organized their Greek towns, Chinatowns, Little Italy's in every city, if we begin to organize around a black agenda, we can resolve a lot of these issues. We can solve a lot of these issues that we are up against. Uh, you know, after 20 years of being an activist out here and being arrested almost 200 times, and I'm saying arrested for the movement, not arrested uh, uh, for drugs or uh, that was my past life. But after coming home in 1998 on up until now, you all, uh, I, I've been arrested more times doing right than I did when I was in the streets. And, and so I guess it's a bigger crime to fight on behalf wow. of people, of, of the people, than it is to, uh, uh, um, you know, stand on the corner and sell drugs or whatever. And so they found a way to, to lock me up literally almost 200 times for fighting for our people, you know, whether it been around housing, police shootings, uh, jobs and contracts, no matter what it was and what it is, you know, uh, the system seems as though that they're more concerned with us doing the right thing and locking us up than they are when we were standing out on the street corners. Uh, man, I want to applaud y'all for the, the actions that you've taken up in uh, uh, Rosemont. You know, I've been knowing Teresa since, I mean, man, we, we grew up together, uh, basically. I mean, we basically grew up together with one another. Um, she respects uh, you a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, we grew up together. And so I just want to just, just, just say to us that here in this city, we have the power to do two major things. And I want to say to you all, because some of the people on here are just a little bit younger than I am and, 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 and may not have been in the movement as long as I've been in the movement. But let, let, me, let me say this to you all. The way to get the attention, and I've learned after 20 years of being in the movement, you all, the way to get the attention of this administration and, and any other power structure is to mess with two things, two things that they really care about, and that's their politics and their money. When you go after their politics and their money, you get their attention. And so uh, um, in Rosemont, for example, there's casinos and all type of venues up there. And once you start going after the politics and the money of Rosemont, you'll get all the answers that you want. Uh, um, you know, I, I've been really staying focused right here in Chicago because, um, man, we're talking about a study they did that say by 2030 that black people would be less than 1% of this city. Man, that is criminal. And above all, it's sickening that they would dare target, uh, 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 you know, poor people the way that they're targeting poor people. And, and, and people who would consider themselves as being educated and educators. They're being pushed out of their jobs. Uh, uh, you know, people being pushed out of their homes, just like Detroit where you lost a million people uh, to, to gentrification. Uh, and man, and, and, and I see the same thing happening in whether it's California, Harlem, New York, it's happening in all these major cities where they are shooting and killing our children, uh, taking our homes, shutting down schools. And I would dare say, I, I, I want to say to you all that until we across the globe, globe send a direct message to their politics and money, uh, uh, you know, they would never acknowledge uh, uh, um, or never pay attention to us. You know, I'm telling you, that's how you get their attention. You mess with their money and politics. And so when they, Ferguson was, was a perfect example after they killed, I think that was Mike Brown and Ferguson, right? Yeah. Okay. After they killed Mike Brown, that was a collected effort to go after their politics and money. And they overthrew uh, the city council there. Uh, and when you overthrow the city council and put your people in place, guess what? That gives you the power to control the police department. That gives you the power to control the, uh, uh, um, uh, the uh, fraternal order police contract. That's the power that you have when you take over the politics. You know, it's one thing to march, but it's a whole different thing to go after and control uh, the politics and the money. And so that's what we're going to do. And that's what we, we urge people across the, across the United States. If there's anything that you don't like, if they, you feel that you've been disrespected, they're killing you, shutting, shutting your schools down, killing your children, 
begin to organize around taking over the politics and the money. When you do that, they will come to the table. They will come all the way to the table. And I'll leave you with this. There's more of us than it is them. In the city of Chicago, the city council is made up of only 51 people, 50 aldermen, and one mayor. The mayor's people are less than 1% of the city. Uh, the majority of the city council, which are uh, pretty much probably Irish, guess what? They're less than 12% of the city. The only group that's, that's, that's almost equivalent to us are the Hispanics, right? But guess what? They can't vote because less than 300,000 of them are legal, legally uh, 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 registered voters in this city. Black people in the city of Chicago have almost a million registered voters. Let me, let me rephrase that. We have almost a million people, and we have 650,000 registered voters. And so we have the power to, to, to uh, make a Rahm Emanuel, to make uh, uh, um, um, these aldermen or whoever, you know, that make up such small, a small minority of the politics in this city. We have the power to make them come, make them bend to their knees. Literally, we have, we have that power. You know, it's, out of the whole state of Illinois, we have 12 million uh, uh, um, um, uh, people that live in the state of Illinois. Do you all know that less than 500 people uh, uh, make up every political position in the whole state of Illinois? How is it that we are allowing this small group of people to just make a fool out of us, run over us every single, every single year? You know how it's happening? Because we have some watered-down, weak leadership that they are an idea whose time has come. And I'm specifically talking about a lot of the older leadership in our community that has, uh, uh, and, 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 and look, look, I'm almost 50 years old, y'all. I'm almost 50 years old. And I wouldn't be doing my duty if I didn't arm and, 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 and give our young people the truth. Our generation was pretty much lied to by our parents' generation, by our grandparents' generation. He intentionally wanted to lie to us, but out of fear, uh, 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 out of um, traditional culture, they just found ways to lie to us about the truth. Instead of just giving us the truth, you know, they, they, they lied to us. Now, we're not mad at our parents and our grandparents, but we know that we have to come with a different strategy this time. We've tried everything that didn't work. Let's try what works this time, y'all. Please, let's do that. And, 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 and believe me, the money and the politics is what they care most about. I'm telling you, the Absolutely. money and the politics. So there is something going on with CHA on Thursday. Do you mind sharing that for people oh, who yes. may want to participate? Okay. Uh, this is Chicago, by the way, y'all. Chicago Housing Authority, y'all. 282,000 families. Uh, have signed. Um, well, we'll be doing 1 p.m. Thursday at 1 p.m. We're going to go down to Chicago Housing Authority. And not just to address this whole thing of Section 8, but like I said, we're going to address the issue of police terrorism. We're going to address the issue of issues of uh, school closings and lack of funding for our schools. We're going to address the issues of jobs and contracts. Man, we have powerful laws uh, uh, that govern the housing authority. Those uh, fall up under what they call the HUD Act of 1968. I want everybody to go and do your homework on the HUD Act of 1968 and Section 3. Now, you've heard of Section 8, but Section 3 gives you access to the money, jobs, and contracts, you know? Uh, and so Thursday at 1 p.m. on Washington, I mean, oh, sorry about that. Thursday at 1 p.m. at 60 East Van Buren. That's Van Buren, Bash. Van Buren and Wabash. We want everybody to. Live. We want to stream live to the world and show them what's going on in, in the city of Chicago. We want them to, to know that just as you have a racist president like Trump, you got, a, you, got, you got some black racists and some white racists in Chicago who are, are Democrats, 
that are starving black people to death, breaking up black families, giving uh, our women welfare and babysitting. Breaking up black families and 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 and, 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 um, and, and you know, man, and, and making our people think that we are each other's enemies. You know, driving us to insanity, into savagery, where, where we're killing one another. And and so, and they want you to believe that that this is a drugs, ga gangs, guns, and drugs problem. No, this is a corruption. This is a corruption problem with 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 the ingredients of nepotism, cronyism, and patronage. Let me say that again. They want you to think that the killing is because of gangs, guns, and drugs. And, and I want you all to understand that this is going on in your city as well. They want you to believe that this is about gangs, guns, and drugs. No, that is not what's causing the murder and mayhem. It is the corruption. And its, its main ingredients are nepotism, cronyism, and patronage. And as long as you have nepotism, cronyism, and patronage, guess what? You're not going to get jobs, contracts, and opportunities. And if you don't get jobs, contracts, and opportunities, nine times you're going to go to a life of crime. And that's where they get okay. gangs, guns, and drugs. Mm -hmm. So, Mark, I definitely thank you for being on here. And I want to say to everybody, this is Mark Carter. He's a West Side organizer in the city of Chicago. Uh, me and Mark fight a whole lot. But when he speak, as you see, I listen. Because he does know what he's now, talking about. Let, let me say it one more let, no, nah, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> I got to get off here. Yeah. Uh, announcing the flyer again. Announcing the flyer again. Okay, go ahead. Now, the heading on our flyer is very controversial. And we're telling the people to come downtown and demand that they give us our shit. Give us what we, have, <laughs> what we should have gotten 50 years ago, you all. This belongs to us. We are taxpayers in this city. We're not coming to big. We're not, we're not getting on our knees begging. We're not doing anything. We're demanding uh, 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 um, that, that, that when we put into so we're going downtown to demand that they turn on our investment. That is what Thursday at 1 p.m. at Washington, and I keep saying Washington. Well, I don't know what, what, what's making me say Washington. Well, that's Thursday, 1 p.m., 60 East Van Buren. That's Van Buren and Wabash. That is going to be our first stop. We're going to go to City Hall. We're going to Hood. We're going to the, the financial district. And so all these issues that we're fighting, police shootings, uh, and we ask all the freedom fighters, hey, come on down. Come on down with your poster board, with your, with what your issues are. You see? And, and so we want to address all those issues. Jedediah, you you speak. You want to speak on on the, the uh, police terrorism? Hey, come out and speak on the police terrorism. This is going to be a national, a uh, 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 worldwide uh, uh, live streaming to expose what's going on here in the city of Chicago. Thanks. All right, Mark. All right, man. Have a great night. Good seeing you, brother. So there you all have it. You got the date. You got the address and location, and he also gave you the knowledge. We can come on, have fun, we can laugh and do all those other things, but we also got to grow. I have no problem with acknowledging that this man is equipped with and armed with the proper information that will inform and affect change in the landscape of the city that I live in. No matter how much me and Mark fight each other, you have to recognize someone who knows what they're doing and knows what they're talking about when they truly know what they're doing and know what they're talking about. And I'll give that to Mark Carter. So Freedom Fighters, if you're available and you can, please go help because that's not just his fight, that's all our fight. And I want to encourage all of the members of the Freedom Fighting family in Chicago that's not just black, white ones, Spanish ones, and everybody else. Well, Mark Carter is a man who has committed himself to fighting for the plight of black folks. Doesn't mean that he hates other races. So whenever you see a man or a woman committed to the issues of a race, it means that they feel that their race's issue need be addressed. You don't become an enemy. You choose to become an ally. 
And allies do not come to take over. They come to add to the number. They come to increase the effect. They come to echo the sentiment of the people that they are serving. The best thing that people could do that are not black is help black people by building a bond and relationship and fighting with them and their issues and hope that that bond and that relationship is strong enough that they'll then also be able to turn around and help build, fight, and echo you and yours. Because at the end of the day, no matter the skin, or the color of the skin, we all don't know each other for real. We all need to be working to get better as a human race. I want freedom fighters to be the people that breaks the barriers, crosses the lines, reaches across the aisle, and makes a difference for the entire world. So with that being said, I thank you all so much. We've had every component that you could possibly need for a conversation tonight with a family. We've laughed. We've identified stuff. We've encouraged one another. We've been spoken to about purpose. We've been educated. And we have a call to action. Damn, I love my family. Chicago, I love you. And America, sometimes you be tripping. But I love you, too. Good night, Freedom Fighters. All over the world. I just saw somebody on here say it's 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning in London. And you are stuck to this screen. But I want to let you know, you losing your job is not official Freedom Fighter business. Go to bed. <laughs> I'm just reading some of these comments that's going through. Not you just said that out your fingers. Did you really just say that out your fingers? Let me call my brother and my sister. They're supposed to have been here by now. They all by myself. Who does that? I'm not co-president. I'm national president. Sheena is also national president. Co-president is the definition. I'm just playing. I don't even care if y'all just call me Jed or Prayers J. Whatever you call. It's not about the ape, the, the, the cape. It's about the ape. 